Hi, I'm Masku, Dennis Ocampo of the Senator Suwali Kali System and founder of CUT, Concealed Carry Urban Tactical Training. Today's video is going to be based upon various attacks from the rear in the sense of the Senator Suwali Kali System. One of my subscribers named Chris up in the UK wanted to see what do we do in regards to rear attacks. And I'm going to be talking about rear attacks in various ways. One of them is going to be a single rear choke, a bear hug, and possibly a full Nelson. Chris uh, also wanted me to introduce the usage of the CDHK in regards to using this as a possibility in defense of that single choke, full Nelson, and the bear hug. So we're going to go ahead and start with those things go. today. All right, so what we're going to work on is a rear choke, a common choke that happens like this underneath from here, whether the person takes you off balance, but it's something that you're not expecting. So a couple of things that's going to involve your footwork and your balance. One of the most things when we're doing striking, we're going to talk about distraction, okay? So when he's, when, first thing is you don't ever let anyone do this to you. It could happen, but one of the first things what we want to do is react. So the first thing he's going to do, that is going to come around. If that comes around, the worst thing you can do is turn this way, because this elbow starts to collapse my pharynx. And the first thing I want to do is I want to go always towards the, the crick of the elbow from here. So when I'm here, first thing I need to do is drop my chin. Once I drop my chin, I bring this down. So he can be strong, he can have the biggest biceps. However, distraction, it, can, it just could be a slap. It could be eye, it could be head from here. But once I do this from here, Head, groin, step that around. Once I step that, I don't want to lose this. I want to come around, and then I can do from here. Okay, whether it's the knee, you have so many options. You have arm bar, you can take them down to the ground if you want to. Okay, so from here, first grab from here. Grab, hit, bam, or groin. Step that around. See how I, my second level is important? Bring that around. Once I bring that around, then I can do whatever I need, whether it's turn him around, whatever, get his blade if I need to. <laughs> okay, so once again, that's the right side. If there's a right side, there's a left side, okay? So if I'm going this way, I'm here, here. Step this way, watch what happens to his arm. Okay, once I have that, then I have this brick that side. He's here again. I can't. Oh, I switched that. Get that around here. There's a break of battle from here. Always distraction. Turn towards the elbow. Hold that. Distract. See how I hold this? This will, trust me, this will loosen up after I do this. If I can't get this, can't get this, I get this. Step this way, or step this way. If I step this direction, I break on. All I have to do is hook this, and there's that right here. If I'm here, same thing on here, distract, elbow, take this here, come out, and then whatever I want to do. Okay? Let's work that. Common too, he's gonna pull me this way. Okay. If he pulls me this way, that gives me this more. I can just grab yeah, this, yeah. that's soft, <laughs> okay. it doesn't matter. So if I'm here and he's pulling me, let him pull. Go ahead and pull back, see as he, as he, as he pulls. Yeah. All I'm gonna do is get my balance and come forward from here. Go ahead and come back again, come back. There. If I'm back, turn, here's my grip from here. From here. Well, first thing is, he pulls, get that out. Headbutt him. You're clearing space. When you bring this forward, see how his head comes to me? See? Boom. Bam! From here. Establish balance. See how I balance? So he pulls me back, pull back, there. He pulls me back again, there. So if that's the case, now I wrap the swirl this way, get that out. I'm down. But staying low is taking his leverage off. A lot of people think the taller person has the advantage. Does it? The shorter person does. Drop your weight. If he does not pull me, drop my weight. Once you drop, bam, right there. That opens me up. Once I open up, immediately. Okay. All right. So so far, what we have, clearing the space from here. We have this clear from here. Come back again. 
here, clear, distract. I got the head here, got the groin, got the leg if I have to. Come around, nothing changes. Let the whole entire body do that. Whatever you guys can do from here, knee, swing them around, whatever. Make the hit, get out of there immediately, come back up. So now what we're gonna take a look at is if I can't get to this side from here, if I can get to this side, go off the opposite side, Notice what happens to his arm. I do the same thing. Watch with that. I'm going to be careful. I do the same thing. I turn this, turn it to where the body goes, and then there. So I turn that. So if you watch my arm on this side, guys, make sure you see what happens. I'm here, right? I clear this. So come around this way, guys, so you can see. Come around the other side. Other side. Keep going, keep going. From here. So I'm swinging my arm. See where my elbow is? See where my hand is? Mm -hmm. See how I turn that? That gives me the leverage. Go down, go down, go down. Oh, okay. That gives me that leverage to walk this way. Okay? So this is going to turn to that motion. Okay? All right. Any questions? So as, as the attorney is basically coming out of that elbow, that shoulder lock. Right. But when you push that elbow in like that, you keep yeah. it in there. Yeah, because it, it stays there. So once, it, once I'm here, it actually stays. So come to that side. See, it's trapped with this hand. Right. It can't do anything. You see, it's trapped. Okay. So once I go out, I take my head. Once I hurt oh, my head, okay. there, that's when I rotate that. Okay. Then see where my hand is? There it is. So I have that. Okay. Good. All right. Fire it off. So you're gonna turn this way. That's it. Good. 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 Now, so this there. Turn. There you go. Turn this hand. Like turn that. So that you have that go nice and slow with him. Yeah. No worries. I'm. Yeah, but I'm, I'm almost, almost double jointed. I know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's just it's just please stop again from here. Just push. Oh, so, so you want to go this wait, way? Wait, wait, wait. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You got. I have to be able. I don't know. Hey, excuse me, sir. You're going to attack me from the rear with the left or right? No, you don't have that opportunity. The first thing is get these hands up immediately. Okay, got to get the hands up and clear. Now, if I can't go this way, then I go this way. There it is. Okay. All right, so see what happens? He has this lock, but once I torque this, he won't be able to. So once I'm here, this is where I'm torquing this this way. You see? So you should be able to go here. He gives me a harm. Oh. Boom. He gives me an arm. Oh, there. Once I see, you see? The other side, I see. Oh, I, I see. He gives me a for this way. Oh, he did that to me. You see? If I'm here, my hand's here. He's talking this way. I can't get that. Oh, oh. I go from here this way. Once I'm here. Now I'm going to take that straight back down from here. I'm going to rotate that up. Okay? So nothing changes. If I can get my hands. From here, just remember, always distraction. Clear your space and distraction, whether I go this way or whether I go this way. If I go here and his head's here, oh, look what I have there. I have him. I take him. But I, again, I don't want to go to the ground. Don't I'm go here. when I'm here like this. Don't go, don't go like this, because he's going to step forward. Right. Yep, now I'm in trouble. But right. even here, I right. don't want to turn this way anymore. Right. I want to turn this turn way. Towards him. Yeah, I want to turn this because now he can't grab. Right. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> that's why you, that's wanna... why you open up that space so Correct. that you can turn it. Right. So if I'm here, I'm going to turn. Right. You see? Excuse me. Easier access. Easier right. Access. Easier access. You see what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. <sighs> right. So the next uh, common attack will be. Um, we'll just say is a bear hug, something that's not is not seen from here. Again, ah, nothing changes. <laughs> nothing changes from here. Again, distractional point. If I see how his head's turned, if I can't get to that, and he wants to be there, then I this is my primer. My hands are loose. Groin shot is always my option. So we're still going to use this from here. Once I get this, I'm going to jut my arms out. His arms are long, which is okay, but I'm going to use my hips to jut this out. So once I jut that out. My hand, his hands are gonna break. The only problem with his hands is they're so long. So uh, let me get Clayton. So Clayton from here, which doesn't change anything if, if it doesn't break, but I'll, I'll come back to that one. See, his arms are much more shorter, so I have distraction. I see this, I got this here. So once I shoot, 
I'm going to go off here, shoot my arms out, bam, that's what I'm going to do. So I have options now to go from here, okay, from here to from there. So once I take, so I have that option from here, distractional groin, break that up. If I have this, I bring this, and then there's my break of my elbow. So if I'm here, or break at the elbow. If I don't have that the way it's turned, I'll come up this way, or I'll come out this way. I'm sorry, this way, nothing changed. If that arm's on this way, I, I still go in here. Here, I still go here, okay? If I'm on this side, I break from here, distractional hit, groin pop, boom. From here, you see how I turn his palm up? That bends his elbow, if I don't, Palm up this way, there's my break off the elbow on this one. So it all depends on how he reacts. If I'm here, so notice, I'm jutting back. I release that. See, why, do, why am I releasing this? Why am I holding onto this? If I don't, if I don't his initial reaction is going to go there. If his initial reaction is there, I've been here before. Oh, I take. Okay? If once I'm here, once I break, bam. Here, I'm immediately back near this. This time I'm, 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 I'm controlling the arm. Then I'm back to here. Whether it's here, whether it's here, doesn't matter, do what you can. The most important thing is get out of this bear arm. Distract, bam, jut that out, boom. I have a hand, get the hand. That's what I want. Keep it close to you. Because see, he may want to grab that leg. He grabs the leg, boom, I pull. He wants to grab the leg some more, oh, I pull. Doesn't matter, but leverage. Don't try to fight this, because once, you, once you're out here, he's gonna try to pull. Well, if he tries to pull, pull it, that's fine. Then let him go. If I'm here, he's gonna have to pull my whole entire body. If he pulls my body, then I'm gonna do something else. It just it depends on what he wants to do. So once again, distract, pop, boom. Once arm, grab that arm, you see? So I'm gonna go out this way, or, from here, I don't want to go, depending on his palm, if I turn, I have that, I have that. If I'm here, I distract, finger, even better, okay, even much better if I have that. But the most important thing, same thing, even if he grabs and he picks up and I can't get, oh, there it is, boom, I got that, bam, oh, grab, then boom, jot that out. If no hand is there, get out of there. If the hand's there, then take the hand. Firearm, blade, whatever you got. Okay, let's work here. Distractional strike, bump this out. See how I take him up balance. So once I bump him out, there's this leg. Oh, take that leg. If I'm here, I'm gonna turn down. Good. All right, so back to this, uh, that, back to this posi position. If he's tall, and his arms are long, okay? Nothing changes, distract, distract. Notice what his arms do, nothing, right? So all I have to do now is once I'm here, I take. Once I'm here, see how I take this hand? See how I take this? All I'm gonna do is reverse that. Oh, man. Okay, so once I reverse that, look what I have, I have both. I wanna keep that, I wanna keep that, okay? So that's my options. Now, same thing on this side. I can't get him here. Well, let's say the person puts it, his head on the other side. See where his head is? See how he's leaning? Don't fight that. Don't fight that. His head's, his balance is there. Fine, take his balance off. I can't get his head. I got groin, I got a groin on this side. Go with it, you see? So I'm gonna say, you wanna hold on to me? I cleared space, hold on to it. There. Okay? So either way, that's why you wanna keep things close. Good? All right, let's work it. All right, so you have all seen now a little variety of various attacks from maybe a bear hug or even from a rear choke. Using these skills, most importantly, out of all of them is to get, your per get the attacker off balance and distract them. Whatever you do after that is going to be extremely important. But even most important, don't get into that position in the first place. Always watch your six. Keep your head on the swivel and keep your back against the wall. If you have any questions, please feel free to subscribe to Evade the Blade 55 or Filipino Kali Educator.